Well, the Office of Emergency Management is all-encompassing. It covers all the county. And that includes Manitou, Fountain, Monument, the town of Peyton, the town of Calhan, Ramo. OEM is, is, is guided by both federal and state regulations. So we have to deal with the federal regulations as well as the state regulations or requirements. And we also have to understand what our community needs. So there's, it's threefold. And what OEM offers is protection and education and support. We like to say we're leading the charge with preparing the community right now. With the Office of Emergency Management just coming over in January of this year. The office was moved from the Sheriff's Office over to the administrative side of the county. We got a fresh team ready to have a breath of experience, getting ready to get El Paso County, the residents of El Paso County, better prepared in the event of emergency. The folks that are actually working at the planners are working towards a, a certain goal, whether it's certification, uh, whether it's preparing for winter, whether it's preparing for summer or spring. Something that we accomplished, that we finished up in September, is the hazard mitigation plan. There are multiple risks due to natural and man-made uh, disasters. Those risks need to be mitigated. And that's what this plan does, is create a path towards mitigating those hazards and making a safer community. The recent flooding was this office's responsibility primarily. We brought in the finance group from the county, we brought in FEMA, we brought in the state entities. We identified what the damages were. The damages included uh, road damage, park damage, it uh, took out some private property. Then we began the uh, finance process of uh, submitting that for FEMA approval and for uh, FEMA reimbursement. And that's where we are right now. We have kind of a unique situation in our Office of Emergency Management because our office has a response component to it. We're responsible for hazmat responses in the unincorporated area of El Paso County. We have two hazmat trainer coordinators that coordinate a group of volunteers, and some of those are volunteer firefighters, some of them are deputy sheriff's officers, that we train and equip to respond on these hazmat responses. The fourth Friday of every month, all of our team members get together and we'll do uh, training. We did building searches, communication, incident command, and product identification for a meth lab. And that was all enc encompassed in an eight-hour day. A lot of stuff happening in the community right now with the, the crude by rail, the rail going up and down the rail system here. So we are training our team members in case of a spill from tankers rolling over on the highway to a response at a facility. We're, we're really heavily involved in the biggest projects are recovery from still the Waldo Canyon fire and the Black Forest fire and now the flooding that happened this year. Almost all of our projects in, involve some protecting some kind of public infrastructure, whether it's a road, a right-of-way. They restored the off-ramp from Highway 24 into Manitou. A year and a half ago, that washed out completely and they had it replaced. One of the things that the Office of Emergency Management does is help coordinate the provision of sandbags in communities that need sandbags when there's a flooding issue. Emergency management is multidisciplinary, and by disciplines I mean first responders, fire, police, hazardous materials response. It takes finance, it takes uh, resource management and supplies. It brings it all together. The results of all that need to be a safer, more resilient community where people are more prepared to meet the uh, challenges that occur during a disaster or an emergency. The preparedness part of the Office of Emergency Management includes getting the community, residents, neighborhoods, organizations, uh, officials, other agencies uh, prepared for an emergency. There's, there's many venues. Obviously the Board of County Commissioners meeting is one because that's a public venue. Uh, we use radio, television, newspaper. Uh, whatever's out there is what we use as a venue to get out and reach everybody. You know, we also do community meetings. We actually go to the community and meet with those folks. And one of the things we do is the CERT program, which is Community Emergency Response Team Training, which is an in-depth training program that teaches disaster first aid to uh, communications in a disaster, uh, many different topics to help people get ready to uh, know how to respond in a disaster. We take requests from people for what kinds of presentations they'd like, what sort of topics they'd like to focus on, and we'll be happy to provide a presentation on that if they'd like. The schedule and the description of the classes is posted at EP pccert.org. This couldn't happen without the staff that, that work within OEM. We plan to protect the citizens of this county and we're going to do it. I just want the whole community to remember that they need to make a plan now, get their emergency supplies in place, and be informed of their local risks. Those three steps will get you much better prepared for an emergency.